this thing that they send you with that 96, because that 96 is on it, it means it's a remittance and it has value. It is, in fact, a type of check. Hello, so here we are back at the high tech board of Truth and Justice. Had a few technical difficulties, but we fixed them. Now, recall that we were mentioning 96, the number 96 on the bottom of one of your uh, document that you receive from, say, the Canada Revenue Agency or a utility company or uh, probably even credit card company is going to have that 96. It means that it's an, a remittance and thus it is an item of credit. Now normally what they want you to do is to return this document that you receive with your payment. That's what their instructions is to you. Now you'll notice that they demand a check. They want a check or they imply that they want a check. They leave it up to you to assume that they want a check. What you can actually do however because this is a remittance and this 96, as we'll see in a moment, it actually means something. What you do is you circle it and you say to them essentially, thank you, I accept this. And you say accepted. Now what you're doing is you're saying, I accept that you have given me a remittance and I want you to apply this value to a a, an account. Essentially you're going to be drawing on the account that is evidenced by your birth certificate. And you're telling them that this document evidences services which because of this 96 is in fact on them. The obligation is theirs to pay it. This is your free jam. This is your apple pie. You'll find that this is what you will see on just about anything that's required for you to exist as a human being in Canada. Your, your utility payments, uh, phone bills, hydro, water, all of these things are going to be covered in this manner. Because you've got a right to use that revenue, that account, which you previously were unaware of and ignorant of and weren't using. You've got a right to use that account to meet these obligations. Now, it might appear, and some ignorant people will say, oh, you're getting something for nothing, but you're not getting for nothing. It is being paid for. It is being paid for because what you do is you then sign it, and you give them a number on the back of your birth certificate. That's the security of your person. It's the revenue receipt. You have to tell them where to go to get their money, don't you? Now the question that will likely come up at this point is what evidence do you have that you do in fact have the right to merely accept this, sign it, give them a signature, claim that that signature is the payment, and then point out how to go about getting that payment. How do you do that? Well, what this 96 you can prove it's a remittance by looking into uh, the Canadian Payment Association rules. CRA, anyone who's sending you documents apparently demanding payment, are all bound by these rules. Now these rules are under a, a body of regulations which was created under an act. And we live in a world where a vast majority of people who have their driver's license have never even read the Motor Vehicle Act, let alone read it before they got their license. Most people are not motivated and won't even think about looking into this issue. But if you do, you will find that under rule H6, section 2.2 of their rules, you will see that a 96 down in this corner is in fact evidence that the documents bearing it is a remittance, it is an item of credit, and it can be used as such. And the field under which you find this, what they define this field as, and what they define that number as, is what proves it. It's the cherry on the cake. It is called 
on us. When they send you a document, which apparently appears to be a demand for payment, and there's a little 96 in the corner, that means it's a remittance, it's an item of credit, and it means they're telling you this service that they have provided you with is on us. And the reason it's on us is because likely they are extracting value from something to which you have a proper claim and which they cannot extract without your permission or the permission of your representatives. Believe it or not, they don't own the berry bush that they extract the value from. You do. And they have a duty to give you free jam. Same is true with hydroelectric power. They do not own those rivers. We do. And if they want to dam them up and collect hydroelectricity, one of the deals is they have to provide it to you for free. And they do that right out in the open by pointing up, by putting a 96 on that field. And that field means the services that they're demanding you pay for is on us. It has to be on them. Because we can stop them from providing, from even securing any of these. We can stop them from, from damming up our rivers and selling it to the states. We can stop them from strip mining and logging. These things that they engage in, they're ours, and they have to pay us for it. Now, you might not want to believe this. A lot of people will find it. They'll say, oh, it can't be true. Simply can't be true, and they'll reject it as truth merely because they can't get their head around it, the fact that it's true. So look at it. Look it up. The Canadian Payment Association. Google it. Find it. Look under Rule H6, Section 2.2. You will see that a 96 is evidence of a remittance. A remittance is credit. They want payment. Your signature is the payment. You point out this number right here, and it's all under the On Us field. And On Us, what do you think it means? It's not something magical. If you go to a restaurant and someone tells you, hey, your meal is On Us, are you going to be picking up that bill, or are they? And if the restaurateur tells you, listen, you've got food on us every day for the rest of your life, well, then that's the case. All of these hydro bills, all of the bills that you've been paying that have been crushing you, that have been your biggest burden, they were never actually real. They were always previously paid for by virtue of the fact of the revenue receipt evidenced by the birth certificate. This is your country. The resources extracted, they belong to you. And if corporations want to extract those resources and make profit from it, it's a pretty fair burden to put on them that first they have to meet our needs, especially when you're talking about damming up our rivers to generate hydroelectricity or extracting our coal in order to do the same thing. No, your limit, your ability, to profit from the resources in Canada are in fact limited by your duty to share those resources freely with us. Merry Christmas. To indicate it is a remittance they have to put a code 96 in a specific field. That field is called, get ready for it, the On Us field. The squeaky noise was just too irritating, so I didn't put it in this time. Hi, Rob here again with a short little lesson con with the high-tech-ish board of truth and justice. Some people don't think it really is all that high-tech, but I would argue a Sharpie, that's pretty technologically advanced when you think about it. And as for paper, well, I think that's one of man's greatest inventions. So putting them both together, I think that makes me a bit of a genius. In any event, what we're going to be looking at today is the Law Society of British Columbia and their propensity for pointing to the Legal Profession Act and using it to seek orders against people and barring them from engaging in certain activities which